God save the animal. Seriously. He needs to. We're begging him to. Yeah. <laughs> so we need a picture of Jimmy Fallon holding this out. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorites. Alex G is like a, a Don't Kanye you dare. of- Don't you he's, dare. He's the normcore Kanye. He's the normcore <laughs> indie Kanye. <laughs> 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 in the and best we're just, way, we're know, just gonna like, say, look, he's in. Feet, <laughs> honestly, honestly. He's on. He's in his Jesus is King era, and that's, that's fine. So raw, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's fine. That, right. that, that segment might have pissed some people off, right? There. Yeah, pissed off right. one at least. But, yeah, literally. I, I, I'm about to mic drop and walk. <laughs> no, that's good content right there. So oh, my <laughs> fuck. you don't have a rebuttal. <laughs> My What's rebuttal is you guys are fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about I that? Mean, try to argue on that one. He's not as like crazy as a person as he. No. Like Alex G is like one of the most grounded humans. Also, there's I've there's ever. no ego in this. There's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> none. Yeah. Like, do I just mean. You, do you see where it's just the disconnect is so glaring? I kind of fuck with that. On. Alex G is kind is yay without the ego. That's yeah, like that's well. something. Just yay with only the genius. Yeah, genius, no, it's no just ego. Just like one one guy. You guys, self producing. I mean, making. It, it's just. It's just they're so different as people. I mean, if you think that was a so serious different. take, <laughs> I think Alex should replace Kanye as Kanye. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's when's, when's Alex world. going through his MAGA era? That's the real question. You know, we never know. We never know. Yeah. He was born and raised yeah. in Pennsylvania. So. Yeah, yeah, true. All right, let's go. In, let's go into blessing. Thank God. Everybody, shake your booties out there. Take your tabs and shake your booties. But straight up, like this is the same sound as that. What cross the sea ends with, like right, it, it yeah. kind of yeah, transitions nice transition. perfectly. We had to pause to talk about Kanye. We had to talk. It is a nice. It is like a, it's a great transition. <laughs> oh, there's those runner drums. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, when this one came out, the music video for this song is hilarious. Yeah. yeah as as hell, just like the parody of like early two thousands. Yeah. Stupid fucking rock. <laughs> We get the, the whispers, like, yeah. on, uh, ain't it easy on this Stupid one? Stupid fucking rock. <laughs> Stupid fucking rock. That's the genre, I think, yeah. 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 I just picture me at, like, 10 p.m. just trying to chill, like, get ready for bed. And Abby, like, in my ear, listen Blasting, to Blessing. like, the first 10 seconds of you Blessing. You gotta listen to Blessing. <laughs> every Before, day. Yeah, every, every night. Day. It's a blessing. <laughs> no, this would be great, like, it's alarm clock music. Oh, like, yeah. Wake up to... To, to him saying that every day is Get a out blessing. Of bed. It is it's like beautiful. a good chant though. Yeah, like, it's, it's like, kind of hypnotic. It's like, every day is a blessing. It is like, Christ. it kind of goes back to what we were talking about, like the most generic God. religious statement ever. Yeah. It's like, every day is a blessing, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. But then paired with this? I, These synths, I mean. It's interesting. I mean, that's this is loud. my favorite part of the song. It's noise. The, the noise in the middle yeah. here. You can stick your ear in the speaker. Just let it hurt. Yeah, just let the pain pain come in. Full AirPods. Your AirPods oh, turned up all the way for my this? My AirPods were all the way up. <laughs> Rotated so that I made sure the sound yeah. was getting into my drums. Yeah. My like, drum. my experience with this song is, is like, I really want to die really bad. Like, life sucks. Everything sucks. And then you see one beautiful this one tree. Saved you. And you're like, every day is a blessing. True. Yeah, like, you're walking through the mud. I'm going to rise like, like the fishy. vicious. <laughs> yeah. Like, I... Like, yeah. yeah. From the flood. The instrumental is oh, and then this pretty dark, it. too. I mean, it it's is. not. It's like you picture every day's a blessing. That's every gonna be like a, a dreamy little. Oh yeah, no, it's like a villain soundtrack. I feel like Mac DeMarco probably loves this song. Mm. If I'm being honest. Interesting. Is Mac DeMarco a? Is he a religious guy? He, I don't believe he's a religious guy. I but he he definitely likes this part. This is yeah. Like a, oh yeah. Chamber of reflection. It's a chamber of reflection type beat. At the That's end. fair. Good call. No, this song I feel like he was like, fuck it, let's throw everything at the wall. Yeah. Let's throw all the synths in there. Like, throw the noise. I mean, this is sort of up your alley of like 80s like synth pop. Oh yeah. Like, I, true, I like, mean, it just gets hazy. me going. It's like, yeah. there's so much being said in the instrumental that's like, yeah. I don't know. I just, yeah. like, like Wait, I keep saying, clip. he, he comes up with like a seemingly simple song and then you dissect it and then you can just keep fucking yeah. going. Like it's, <laughs> it's insane. He had a very simple quote from Alex about when he wrote this one. I wrote this song early one morning when I couldn't fall asleep. Kind of fitting with what you just said. A few months later, I brought it up to my band and we recorded most of it live in upstate New York. Period. Period. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Speaking of early mornings. Early morning waiting. I track actually, nine. this one hit me this morning. This one's early cute. This, this is just like a cute track, honestly. Yeah. No, it's like the title is so vivid. Like, I feel like this one sounds almost morning, straight right? out of like a, a rocket type beat, mm -hmm. where it's kind of like a smooth, like jazzy yeah. track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me kind you of like of like piano. guilty without the insanity. Mm. Like <laughs> <laughs> you just it's early morning you're waiting. I love this flavor of Alex vocally. Yeah. yeah. Just him being himself. This yeah. is like Alex at his most raw. I guess that's what it is. Yeah. Hand me downs in black and blue, memories you cycle through, you wake up beside the moon. So true, Alex. The moon, shout out the microphone. Shout out the song. Yeah. <laughs> Early morning, wait. What are you waiting for? Man? Yeah. No, I think it's like a. You're just like, maybe you're lying there next to your, your partner, you know, Whoa. they haven't woken up yet. <laughs> you're just coffee in like, hand. Coffee in hand, reaching for your cigarettes. And you're just you like, know? oh, I love my shoddy. I love, I love shoddy so bad. Yeah. Just yeah. waiting for shoddy. That's why a, a lonely fuck like me doesn't doesn't fuck with this song at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, what is I don't understand this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still depressing enough that I can, can get into it. It's really is just like a very yeah. pleasant sounding track. This is this is one of those ones you throw on driving in the sunset, windows down. Yeah. Wait. Everyone in the car, arms in hand. Early morning. <laughs> waiting. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's sort of got like a I don't know like '90s like coffee shop. Yeah, I was thinking even like sitcom intro yeah, I was vibes. Thinking that it's too, like yeah. the Friends characters are just yeah. sitting around. I was like, thinking that too. Smiling, putting the shoulder out. <laughs> We're so happy. No. <laughs> Lyrically, not particularly on that level. Like, there's still some, like, uh, yeah. he talks about memories you're you're cycling through, keeping you up at night, or just burning questions in your bed. The lo- the line, "Haven't I given enough? When yeah. will I run out of love? Was I wrong to call his bluff?" Is an interesting one too. Like, whose whose perspective is that yeah, that line yeah, coming yeah. from? Oh, yeah, the yeah, strings yeah, yeah. on here are electric. Little sax? Oh, that? no, those strings. I, there's kind of, to me, there's three kind of distinct sections yeah, on this yeah. track list where you have the first three songs, you have Estos to Blessing in the middle, where it's like kind of darker and like stranger. Yeah. And then this is like the light at the end of the tunnel almost, where you're going to get these songs at the end, like this and definitely Miracles and Forgive. Yeah, and I headroom piano. Out of my ass, but I do think that this album could also be about alcoholism. Shit. Whoa. Yeah, Fuck it. like waking up with your headlights on in the car. Like I, I, you're sleeping in the car. I'm glad you got home. And then, like he's mission. like up at night, like waiting for someone to come home. Yeah. Like, like someone's waiting for you to come home. Yeah. Interesting. Or is it about, but mission. Like, I did good. I stayed out of the kitchen. Like I didn't. Okay, sure, yeah. sure. I'm staying on track. Yeah. No, like, okay. No facts, I did honestly. Good. I kept but it on or track. like. Or is it because of God? Like, is it because yeah. God save him? But yeah. that's, like, that's yeah. like a lot of the addiction recovery stories is they do find God and mm-hmm. they're like, yeah. oh, like religion is the is the light at the end of the tunnel. This I mean, like that's what, that's what religion does for a lot of people. That's, why, that's why it appeals to a lot of people is because it's something to keep you like this world world is pretty rotten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like it doesn't appeal to me. But I can understand why someone would look for some some savior, something to, yeah. to above like, it all, like, rather Jesus than just save the animals. For those yeah, that don't God have the animals. someone like Alex G, for example, they need you know, literally. They, I mean, yeah, we already else. have something to worship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have something to look forward Show to. Show them our book. I mean, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, track ten. Immunity. 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 One um, of this track. <laughs> Let me just say, as a future immunologist, this is an anthem. This is an anthem. This is a bio- and... microbiologist anthem. This is sort of like Travis Scott and <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Folky, folk, folk Travis Scott. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lyrically, this is a straight hyperpop song. <laughs> this is just complete, like, <laughs> just like lyrics intended to be kind of hilarious. Yeah. And that's why I'm just like, this whole thing is so, or like, he's just so ironic. Exactly. He's so like. This song, I was laughing my ass off last literally, night when I heard this song. Literally, I was just like, thank God Alex G wrote a song specifically for me. Yeah. I what, because you're keep... also anti-vax? Oh, just yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Get your vaccines, for the love of Get God. Get your vaccines, y'all. They have coke in them, you know. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. That's why I just do it. <laughs> this is amazing, actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and remix this one honestly and give this a full hyper pop spin. <laughs> yeah. Because just like make it a little faster. Oh yeah, no, nightcore this shit. Just add some like bassier drums. 
I, just I can love... see that being a TikTok, like popping up. Popping on TikTok, yeah. I have to put the cocaine in the vaccine, <laughs> walk out the doctor with immunity is just yeah. an amazing line. Yeah, yeah. Even if it doesn't go viral, I will be making a TikTok to this song. Um, <laughs> you in the lab, like, <laughs> have to put the cocaine <laughs> in the vaccine. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of funny dog. though because they did they did give you cocaine for a lot of ailments back in the day. True. The doctors did. True. Yeah. True. Dentists even for a while put cocaine. Nowadays, who knows what they're giving to us now? It could Opioids. be just. It could, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give them to everybody. Uh-huh. Yeah. Literally. But I like like it is like those funny lines, and then like mixed in there is like go to bed at midnight, waking up at three, life of revelation catching up yeah. with me. Like they're still mixed in this, those like depressing core l- lyrics. This like still like at this point could be like a hip hop song. Like it's like- Oh, so, 100%. Like, mm-hmm. No, I'm telling you, I want to like, I'm, not I've got a lot on my plate with homework and podcast mm-hmm. editing already, but like so badly I want to ma- remix this song. Like that's all that yeah. I want to do in life right now. You've got a lot on your plate with this remix. This it's is, true, yeah. To this is it. gonna go to number one on the docket. Like, that sounds remix. To, it's trying to get the DH, DH remix of, uh, DH remix. of Immunity. Just weird lyrics on here. And the, yeah. the verse, accident in, accident in Kansas, call you back soon. Yeah, I'm in love with you. Yeah, I love you. Judy loves the fish scale. <laughs> Judy, I love you. Yeah, she's a firefighter. Yeah, but she can never lose. change. And, but you have these these lyrics on like a pretty simple no, piano like, ballad beat. That's truly the weird like part. A pop ballad. Yeah, yeah. No, this is like a. You could play. The, you could send this to your mom, and like if she's not listening too hard to the lyrics, yeah. it'd be like a pretty good song. This piano playing is sick. Kind of like, distorted too. Yeah. This is like Mario Kart music. It's super real. <laughs> Rainbow Road ass beat. Yeah. Baby, I'm in trouble. Got a new number. Yeah, I'm in love with you. This is one that you could throw on almost any playlist, and I feel like it would work. It would, it's like, That's yeah, be true. fine. Yeah. Fuck yeah. it, yeah. I, the there's, there's a weird, like, distinction on songs here where some of the songs are so lucid lyrically. Like, we'll get to Miracles, where yeah. that song is just, like, a, a well-written, like... like Christian like, love song. Like, it's, like, a tight, like... And it's very, Verse like, chorus. honest. Yeah. And then you have a song like this that is so... Under so many veils of, like, other stuff. Like, the yeah. vaccine. Irony and humor Walk out of and the doctor with immunity. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Amazing. This weird shit at the end here. Like laser sounds. Alright. Speaking of piano, headroom piano. Headroom piano. This big drums. This song is instrumental. This song is an instrumental. <laughs> If you want to just shake my head just like this. And my little ass too, you know. In, in your head. This is a great walking song. Facts. Facts. That'll get you walking a little faster when the, the darkness comes. There's monsters behind you. <laughs> Run. <laughs> yeah. This could be like, like, like a big punk song. Like, it really I is. I just like, like how he gets nasty with it still. Like, yeah. <laughs> this song is yeah. creepy though. It's just like... Yeah random ambient voices yeah. in the background. That's like one a, of the things that resonates with me most about Alex G is he's not afraid to be a little weird and creepy. Oh, no. And, no. and he, I love always. that about him. I feel like these days too many artists are afraid of being weird and Wanna creepy. Want to keep it... You blow up on TikTok and you don't make the weird shit anymore? Yeah. yeah. Alex, Alex G does. Such a wild. Alex G does. Like this and Miracles. Are they back to back? Yeah, this goes right into Miracles and then Forgive. I mean, which this guy just knows like, how to balance it out. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> this is like you're just hearing like some, I don't know, some like lo-fi punk yeah. band in the next room. And this, like, yeah, I'm saying like the this radio's is like on. Alex G's like, neighbor like recorded yeah, this. They, yeah. were like, uh, they were like working on something yeah, one yeah, night yeah. and Alex G's neighbor was just at the door like, what the fuck are they doing in there? <laughs> Quiet the fuck down, it's late. <laughs> Like the radio's on somehow, like someone's talking. Like, but then like the piano yeah, is just nice. so good. I don't really know what headroom is. You guys, headroom when we piano. saw him in February, seeing that man up there, like oh, when he was slamming the keys. The piano, oh yeah. my gosh! When he was playing. Uh, what do you play? Like, when Miss? he was playing Sugar. Yeah, is that he, the name of the track or, or the, House uh, of Crab. House of Sugar, Sugar yeah. House maybe Sugar House that's yeah. Yeah. yeah Sugar House dash live <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was and live. it was live it literally was live yeah. but, but yeah. I'm telling oh we you. played Crab too that was oh sick. yeah literally. that was yeah. god damn I yeah just... I mean this is a good time for us to just talk about that live show and during the instrumental <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's just what it naturally was, happened it was gas like it was 
I just it was beautiful. Like Alex yeah. G can put together such a great live show because he has like the most amazing two to three minute songs, mm -hmm. so he can just play like nineteen <laughs> tracks yeah, casually yeah, 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 yeah. in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> No, the whole band was, was sick. He, he was just fucking around up, up there having fun. And we were in like the second row. I think yeah. he said like it was, it was his first show in a while. Yeah, I, like, I think yeah it no, was it like wasn't. Like first yeah. show of like a, a series of shows. I don't know. Whatever. San Francisco. Alex G, baby. We love him. I, do, I honestly, I do want to see him on this this next tour that's about to start next month, but we'll catch I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll see. We'll see. We'll sell any limbs or organs yeah. for Alex I'm interested in, I, I would, yeah, facts. No, I, I'm interested in the... <laughs> would you stop with the I know. microphones? Stop it with the microphones. I'm not doing it. You're literally Spotify. so sick in the head, bro. I was just going to say, I'm interested what the, the God Save the Animals tour track list or the set list looks like yeah. on this tour. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of stuff off this album, but I wonder what he, he keeps in there as yeah. well. Well, I guess, yeah, when we saw him... It was a lot of House of Sugar. Cause it like, was, yeah, that was like, I think that was he the really, House of Sugar. He hadn't really toured it. From yeah. 2020 tour. tour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But he did, he did throw, he only threw like one or two um, beach music on there. Yeah, it was only Bug, I think. And then we, Bug there was more race songs than I expected. Yeah. More of the other stuff. It, it, was, it was a great set list. Uh, uh, but I'm interested what the shout note Shout out Abby's mom. This is a miracle. Let's do it. This is, I mean, TBH, this is the best track on the whole album. This is like a George Harrison intro. I was gonna say like a Adrian Lenker big yeah, beef yeah, sure, 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 sure. the the folk greats of our time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's just that's just genuinely like Alex G's voice. Excellent singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah. was a part of this this Pitchfork article where he talks about he, how he actually has been working on singing, like his actual like being go. on key and singing, and like he hadn't I, been doing that for a lot of his album. Yeah. I bet he can't like no i mean he can to he make can it auto tune sound that good it's yeah. crazy yeah. like just some classic folksy Alex yeah the, the strings are... no and this song is this song is just so so honest that's that's why it, it hits yeah. at the, after like 11 tracks of whatever the hell else was going on yeah. there this second verse like it hits me hard you say one day we should have a baby. Well, right now, baby, I'm struggling. We'll see. <laughs> I was no, like, I love it. For real. Yeah. Like, that's no, that how sounds I feel. Like, yeah. So honest. I'm not ready to have a baby or anything, but like, <laughs> we'll if see. someone hit me that, like, I'm struggling. Like, I gotta be real with you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's beautiful. It sounds on it. Like, it could be honest. Like, I, I think know. so. Like, there is actually, he's... there's rumors he has a child right now. <laughs> Because people were saying on, this was on Reddit, so not super reliable, that Molly had to leave the Japanese breakfast tour because she was playing violin with her because she said she was having a baby. And so they're, really? I think, it's, possible, I think it's possible he actually does have a baby. It's going to be like a huge like Drake situation be, yeah, where he hides, he's gonna, he hides a child. Some other indie folk artist is going to expose him. His next album is like... <laughs> Alex is on his Kylie Jenner shit. <laughs> he's hiding the pregnancy. Hiding his child, yeah. You are hiding a child. Miracles and crosses. Miracles and crosses. This, this pre-chorus, too. After all, there's no yes. way up from apathy. Yeah, you and yes. me, we got better pills than ecstasy. We have miracles and crosses. I wonder what those pills are. I've, that's, that's what my, I'm saying. That's been my question. I mean, I think I the implication is that the pills are miracles and crosses. Okay. It's that, like, we got God. whatever spirituality, God, perhaps, yeah. that, like, that feeling is better than ecstasy. That's probably how my mom took it, because she did like the song. She did, yeah. She did like she's the like, song. She texted you back, what pills are those? Sounds sick. <laughs> and she's like, can we get some of those? You know, can you guy? send me the E? What, the E plus? Yeah. Whatever the better yeah, yeah. E. Yeah, just uh, fascinating, like, to listen to this song and have no conception of Alex G. And just, like, oh, yeah. like what you would think. No, yeah, if you think the rest of the album sounds like this, you think she went and listened to the rest of the album? <laughs> I don't know. I hope. I, I don't know. I don't. She's I like, wish that she didn't. I hope she didn't because I feel like I'm going to have a long conversation <laughs> with my mom. I like this third days, verse is kind of the uh, kind of a thesis for the album, I feel like. Some things Great. from my past make me feel powerless. Well, yeah. baby, I pray for the children and the sinners and the animals too, and I pray for you. Yeah. So it's beautiful, beautiful yeah. honestly. Just that, that guitar tone is like. Oh, it's, it's, it's like so perfect. I think I, I, it just reminds me of like uh, "Here Comes the Sun." Like literally, yeah. No, it's, it's like a, it's song. just like a beautiful yeah, melody. Yeah. It's like nectar for your brain or yeah, something. Exactly. Like it just sounds so. Just the cool. drums are so loud and clean. I love it. And it, I, like the line that really does stick out to me as well is, "There's no way up from apathy." And so on, like yeah, an album great. so much about like finding your spirituality mm -hmm. and stuff like that. He still is like, well. 
There's no way up from apathy though. Like You're I, I tried, right? like I'm, I tried. There's, I'm still kind of in the rough. Like there's no way up from apathy. I'm I don't struggling. care. Still. I'm struggling, baby. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. let's have a baby. I love you, but like, yeah. fuck, <laughs> like your life is hard. Yeah. And that's kind of like, that's what why this track stood out to me so much is it's like just simple. It's like life. Life can be tough. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. kind of the, the drag. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. like yeah, even miracles and crosses don't have to be like, like, religious. Like no. I don't know, yeah, like whatever. <laughs> like, I feel like my cross just, like, is symbolism <laughs> for something bigger. Like some like like we've been talking something about. larger. Yeah, yeah, something just you know an over whatever like, keeps you going. Power. Whether it be like yeah. love with someone, love with your child, a baby. Yeah. Perhaps not me. I mean, like I'm not. I'm struggling. Like, yeah, yeah, not me. Not but, but, <laughs> There's no way up from apathy. Yeah, no. Now okay. you're stuck there. Make sure that. Okay. You want to hear the beginning of forgive? What do you mean? No, I just wanted to make sure there was no microphones after this. Got <laughs> 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 a real technical issue on this end. <laughs> That's just my phone. It's my Spotify is broken. It I knows me too well. Last track, track thirteen. That, that fade forgive. In, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I heard these first few notes and I was like, "This is so familiar." <laughs> and then I realized that he had he played this one for us personally he previously yeah. at the show. He dedicated it. <laughs> and this one's for you three in the second row. Yeah. And he blew us a kiss. Yeah, he yeah. Did. He did. And then I gave him my bracelet. <laughs> Shut up! I knew you were gonna. The bracelet was gonna be the next part. <laughs> I just remember the next day, like, what was he saying? Like, forgive. Oh yeah, yesterday. no, it's so funny actually. Yeah. He is yeah, going for it on this one. I love it. He, yeah, he gave Top his all on that first. I love the dum dum dum. Uh -huh. yeah. Kind of goes hand in hand with blessing. Every day is a blessing. Choose today. Yeah. You know? Again, yeah. it's like just very like it's pretty spiritual. Yeah. No stories. No mirrors. Don't look into your past. No sixteen no. mirrors. Is no sixteen song mirrors. Song? Yeah, that song's kind of. I don't know. Watching Sp Alex G's Spotify page is fascinating. There's always just different songs rising. And Mary like, was the last one that I thought would be TikTok. Like, no, and then 16 Mirrors is the going. Box. And then Advice went, and then 16 Mirrors is going. I don't really get it. I don't understand yeah. how this happens. Sarah's like the real are top song. Are, yeah, yeah, Sarah's like, because that's just a fucking amazing song. Those are the kids that jump on Spotify and like skip to the TikTok part, and then they're like, oh, I hate the rest of this song. <laughs> build castle upon castle. Guitar on this corner. No. Oh. He was like so emotive. His voice is so emotive on this one. It really is. And then it immediately all cuts away. Microphones type B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our, our great American rock artist, Alex yeah. G. Got one more quote from this, uh, mm -hmm. this yeah. Pitchfork article. It was really, it was a great interview with Alex G. Mm -hmm. I like he was walking around a dog park apparently while giving the interview. Yeah. But uh, the quote so is, true. over the last couple of years, it dawned on me that you can forgive yourself. I don't want to get into this whole corny ass shit, but I realized how powerful Damn. that is. Yeah, that's beautiful. And that seems like a sentiment that's like across yeah. this album, especially yeah. on this track. Yeah, he seems like, I don't know, mature. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, bro's 29. Yeah. Like he's like getting up there, like thinking about a family, like, Oops, sorry. Tucker, I, sorry, like, I'm sorry. gonna kill you. Like, it's as simple as that. <laughs> Stop giving this guy the music. <laughs> no, but he, like, dropped, like, his first album when he was, like, 16. Is that correct? Even, like, maybe race. even younger. I think he might have been, I mean, he, he was dropping music, he was making music as early as, like, 12. Yeah. Putting yeah. it on MySpace and shit. Yeah. And then Race, yeah, I believe was when he was 16. He's strange. been doing this for a long, Like, long genuinely, time. like, a full career. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Yeah, that's wild. And that's why it's so funny for us to talk about like 45 year old Alex G, because yeah, that's yeah. so far removed from like, that's like the same distance that race is to now would be that. Yeah. Like in yeah, the yeah. progression from well, that's race like, to here is so in, interesting. It's in 30 years into his career. No, I, that's crazy. <laughs> and like, we can't wait happen. to see the shit he puts out. Guaranteed, it'll be amazing. Castle upon castle upon castle upon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. No, this one this is a standout. I like, you, you probably, I bet, like, in February, this was like his favorite. So, like, you know, he's like, we, we, gotta, we gotta play Forgive. We gotta play we gotta Forgive play. at the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah admission. No, I just, this is a, a, a perfect closer for me. Yeah. Especially coming right off of Miracles 
and then yeah. into this it's like no auto tune yeah. on the we're, yeah. we're done with all that like i love i love that stuff in the middle of this yeah. track list it makes, but we yeah. let all that go and we just let like the real emotions yeah. come through it's just so like earnest so it honest earnest, so yeah. transparent you know yeah. and it rips it fucking rips like, believe it or not, Alex G also plays guitar really yeah. well. That's another yeah. thing he's really good. He's a yeah. great songwriter, but he rips it up, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out the other uh, members of the band, too, I think. Yeah, I honestly Sam, don't. Sam, the other guitarist? Sam, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, his name. Yeah, Sam, Sam Accioni yeah, just, is on just guitar and banjo. Italian boys. Yeah. yeah, shout out John Haywood, who was doing bass across this thing, and cool. Tom Kelly. On the shout drums. Out. Shout out no, the I know Sam's been around since like the beginning. I, yeah. I don't know what the other guys, but Sam's sick. All the other guys. Everyone go sick. watch the Alex G doc. On oh YouTube. yeah, it's pretty sick. Where at? You've watched it. Right? On Vice, I think. Oh okay, I've it's, it's, it's literally I'm a like fake fan. ten minutes. Okay, <laughs> it's during yeah. the beach music era. I think. Oh, that's one of the best eras. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like so edgy and angsty, and it's just like so relatable. Yeah. But Huck. God. All right, that was the album. Can we close with uh, something from Beach Music? Would that sure. be okay? I was gonna recommend Crab, but we can go to Beach Music. We can play Crab too. Let's you know, where are we at here? We're um, we're, we're like an hour in. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can we got like no, no, five no. to ten more minutes. <laughs> at Maybe least. five. Guys, stick around for the encore. It's outro time. <laughs> are coming back on stage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you comment loud enough, we'll talk about the album again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, bye. Uh, just kidding. Just right. kidding. Uh, you hang up first. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. What if we just did encores at the end of our episode? <laughs> episode? We walk off for like five minutes and just the camera is just silent. That's <laughs> classic. That's so classic. Okay, guys, we are. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we have to. We go. gotta go. We gotta go. I don't know what. I think it was the AJJ show I went to last month, where they like had to get to their next destination. So they just went. They were on like like we're gonna do an encore, but we're not gonna leave the stage. <laughs> like just we're gonna do two more songs now and it time. is the encore okay like understood and everyone's yeah. like yep understood and then they played two was things it, i think it was alex that like went off stage for like a minute i could be wrong it's like literally like was that right yeah it was one yeah. minute and i just yeah. felt like that man was that man was a little tipsy oh he went and took a shot backstage 100 because he, was he came juicing. back yeah he was juicing what, what covers sure. were they doing what covers were mm. they doing um third eye blind yeah, third yeah they eye came blind. back with the third eye blind covers he I'm also, totally forgot the lyrics, and I was like, Alex, yeah. I've never loved you more than I loved you in this moment. <laughs> I'm going to throw in the clip, too, of uh, Life is a Highway playing after the Alex <laughs> yeah. G show. Weirdest shit I've ever seen was the mosh going... pits going during Life is a Highway post-Alex G. I think G. I have that on my phone. Psycho yeah. shit. Yeah, send that to me. Just... I, I probably have it. <laughs> Noted they did mosh to Harvey. I would like to say that one more time. It's true. They it's moshed true. Yeah. to Harvey. It, it had is, to be said. Yeah. yeah. I loved at that show just staring at the security guards. Like, they were just like, what the fuck? Yeah, they, they did were take their earplugs out for the Third Eye Blind covers, but the Back, rest of it, yeah. straight in. Security cards were just confused why so many people were enjoying <laughs> themselves <laughs> so much. Yeah, like, exactly. straight up, like, this is just some white boys playing guitar or something. Yeah, yeah, white kids are shaking their ass. <laughs> <laughs> They're so just like, what is going on? Uh, and, but you know what? We forgive him. Forgive <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> security guards, August Hall. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to pull an AJJ because it looks like my uh, computer's dying. So okay, we, so we're just gonna have to do the encore swing now. Out. Yeah, we okay. have to do the encore now. Yeah, okay. we'll do the encore Bye, now. guys. Um, Give us uh, what are we closing to? Uh, much love. Yeah, Alex. shout out Hunkheads. Yeah, I hope Hunkheads. I hope you guys enjoyed this album as much yeah. as we did, all you Alex Shout G out fans. To the I know you did. Gianna Scully enjoyers. Yeah, the whole family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Gianna Scully family. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to start uh, calling Alex G by his full name going yeah. forward from now on. He's uh, grown absolutely. now. Thank you to Abby for joining us. Uh, of course. For real, for There's real. nothing Always else I'd welcome. rather do on a Friday afternoon than sit and talk about Alex yeah. G. <laughs> yeah, I could have been doing my physics homework right now, but you know. We uh, all have physics homework to do, babe, <laughs> and it's okay. You got to go work on that remix of... Uh, Straight up, like, it's either like, do I edit wait, the last episode of the podcast that needs to be uploaded? Do I go do the immunity remix yeah, or do yeah. I do my physics do homework do it midnight like it's remix. tough it's tough I have check I got checked too girl okay. don't, don't okay. fret like, uh, don't out. flex on me like that <laughs> use code hunks on check there you go that would be code supreme hunks. sponsorship if we could get the check sponsorship that would be next level <laughs> honestly so. I'm not a host of this podcast but I want to know what everybody's favorite song was off of the album oh that's actually yeah that's great comment got like yeah. three minutes left of semi charm life so okay yeah. Quick, yeah. <laughs> we're not staying for the whole fucking three minutes let's get the hell out of here it's third eye blind for the love of god uh, <laughs> cheers good yeah, night uh, good night you guys much love <laughs>